Hey, what's up everyone? This is Zarina, your Upland newbie, bringing the floor today, January 9th in all Upland cities. Happy Upland birthday to me. I did not make my goal of making exec. In fact, I set myself back trading to get more Poet Lane properties. So I've now acquired 50% acquisition of all Poet Lane in Santa Clara. So I feel like that's a pretty good, go pretty good accomplishment. I'd like to get the other four. We'll see how that works. Um, so also, I did not meet my goal of submitting to this um, this week's or this the carnival competition for the ornaments. I was really hoping to submit an ornament into the contest and you know maybe have mine sold in Upland, which would have been so great. But I have not yet been able to nail like Blender that well. Like this is as far as the alley I've got. I think I really just need more time, and having a full time job and a kid. Just not enough time to be able to squeeze in learning Blender as fast as I need to, but I am still trying. So this is what I got. My my goal was to have the mask basically with money sticking out of it and then money all over the rooftop of, for an ornament. And then I wanted these beads and giant bowls of color to dangle. Um, yeah, and I also wanted to put some kind of like little flags or zigzags on my property route to kind of have like a, almost like a cake decoration, a little ornate, but there's like triangle limits and things like that. I just have no idea about that stuff. So yeah, we'll see next time around, but I do have something for you guys, a little different. Um, so stay tuned for the floor, but first copying so not copying but i'm gonna send you i'm giving you translating some steals from musita our player of the year his life so if you don't speak portuguese then you're probably missing what musita has to offer because his lives are in portuguese so i do a little bit of listening via translation and i wanted to see what they were talking about as far as their buenos aires um, predictions and he and his guests came up with um, a few that i already had which I'm glad I mentioned mine first, but also these that I did not. So this Diego Maradona, I had no, Maradona maybe, Diego Maradona, I had no idea who he was. Um, I Googled him, got the Wikipedia here, but apparently he's like a soccer guy, football. And you know, that's a big thing in Upland. So his house is in Buenos Aires, there's the address. If you're interested, there you go. Um, oops, where's my thingy? Another one is this one um it's like a just a palacio barolo Bar i'm probably butchering that but it's a landmark office building so if, if it's actually available people will try to mint it if it's not available and you might want to get it as a landmark later on maybe you know it exists and just mint around this neighborhood where this building is it's got a cool little inside kind of it's neat um and it's in the montserrat area so just check it out. Apparently it's the tallest building for more than a decade out there. So, all right, let me see what else I got from Musita. This was, actually, this was my favorite that they mentioned. Um, this is like the world's most beautiful bookstore, uh, currently, um, apparently, to National Geographic. But if you look at it, it's an old theater that's been converted into this, like, I guess, bookstore. They mentioned library, but it seems like it's a bookstore. Um, so maybe both, who knows? But all I know is it's freaking awesome. It looks beautiful. I want to go there. Um, so yeah, this is something that I would love to acquire in Upland. If you haven't seen my great library view that I got in Rio, check it out. Check out my video because that that library it surpasses this one to me. But this one's this one's top notch for sure. All right. So um, there they also mentioned the Grand Cafe Tortoni. So apparently it's the most famous cafe out there. Has a Parisian style um, decor, I suppose, and people love it. So if you are in Buenos Aires, I guess you'll check this out too. But if people want to pick up restaurants, maybe this is, or cafes, this is probably one to check out. And if you see a location, grab it. All right, and then last but not least, they mentioned Avenida Roca Sans Pena, Pena? Um, better known as Diagonal Norte, Spanish for North Diagonal, the counterpart to Diagonal Sur. Um, it's an important avenue in the San Nicolas neighborhood of Buenos Aires. So there you have it. Maybe another street to check out. It definitely looks like this amazing picture that I cut through, that diagonal. So yeah, um, I'm going to be looking on that street probably. All right, for the floor. Here's what we got. Um, 
a little bit of green, a little bit of red, but I say, you know what, at this time, if people, I feel like people are going to be setting guests up to get some deals pretty soon here. I feel like Buenos Aires is just around the corner. In fact, I think some people said the outline's now showing on Upland Map, which means maybe it's not too far off. So just maybe be patient on the buying side and wait to buy something under mint. In fact, my new buying strategy is going to be really pretty much focusing on what I can find under mint. I think that's my best way to go. But you guys do you. We'll see what happens. Anyways, happy hunting. I'll see you guys in Upland.